So let's look at very specifically what types of positions are available for, for Croatians and uh, for Croatian speakers. Yesterday, or basically this, this, this very night, uh, at midnight, EPSO has officially published in the official journal the call for applications for linguist linguist uh, competitions. And the term linguist, it's a collective term. And that includes essentially three types of uh, competitions or three types of positions that you can eventually have as a result of this selection procedure. Uh, one of them is being a translator. The other is being an interpreter. The third one is being a lawyer linguist. Uh, as, as I said, the collective term for all of this is the linguist type of jobs. And in September, and this is already in the public domain, it's, a, it's an information that EPSO has already revealed, in September there will be another exam, another recruitment uh, or selection uh, competition announced for administrators. And that is a quite wide term in the sense that we expect that there will be sub profiles or domains within this uh, as you see the various profiles box there such as uh, for law or audit uh, possibly for financial management possibly for european public administration this is not yet known but there will be a competition for administrators as well apart from these three that have just been announced a very quick view at the type of jobs that these competitions lead to. So you go through all the selection procedure, eventually you manage to get a job in one of the EU institutions. What does it really mean to get a, a job in an EU institution? And I will essentially focus on linguistic jobs, but I also have an example for an administrator one as well. So for instance, you if you go through the translator competition, you can become a translator at the European Court of Auditors, which is based in Luxembourg. If you go through the lawyer linguist competition, you can become a lawyer linguist, uh, a legal translator in the European Parliament in Brussels. Or if you go through the interpreter competition, you can become an interpreter at the European Commission in Brussels, but many interpreters tend to travel because if there are official meetings being held outside of Brussels, certainly EU officials will require the assistance of interpreters, so this could be an opportunity for those who are interested in traveling uh, and, and have the right profile and the right skills to be an interpreter. And last but not least, uh, if you go through the administrator the general administrator competition that are announced in September, you can become, for instance, a policy officer at the General Secretariat of the Council of Ministers in Brussels. Now, why this is a great opportunity? There are multiple reasons, and I could cite 1,000 reasons, but obviously there is one very fundamental reason. The top left uh, box is the salary package, which is very generous and a very very, uh, it provides a lot of uh, attractiveness to EU jobs. Apart from that, there uh, there is a very good health insurance system for EU officials and their families. There are European schools which ensure education for uh, your children in your mother tongue. So there is a wide uh, range of options in in uh, of the in terms of education. EU jobs certainly offer a very good job security because the, the concept, the idea, is to have a career of a lifetime. And this means that it's a public service and the career planning is also considered really for several years or even decades uh, in advance. And then uh, you deal with something very interesting, fascinating topics uh, in, in terms of uh, EU issues, uh, several global issues you will be the first one to hear about uh, before you turn on the evening news and then you see it, uh, something that you have dealt with in your daily job on a daily basis. Regarding the salary, for 85 positions, it's roughly 4,200 euros net per month. Uh, I'm saying roughly because there are some factors that that uh, 
that come into play when they calculate your salary uh, in terms of uh, dependent child, whether you are married, whether you had to relocate to move to Brussels or Luxembourg, or you've already been living in one of these cities. So there are a number of factors, but roughly the starting net se monthly salary is 4,200. For 87, it's roughly 5,500. Uh, the 87 in the current competition, there are 87 positions for interpreters and lawyer linguist, there is no 87 for translators at this time. There may be 87 for the September exams for administrators.